score and make it even better. Did just that. One notable change, you led our first ever Friday night homecoming game. After our football team bested New Trier 43 to 13, we enjoyed our first ever fireworks. Yeah, that is a celebration. We enjoyed our first ever fireworks at GBS. Just one example of the new traditions your class dared to begin. When you come back for your 20 year reunion, you will undoubtedly see current students in the corners of the end zone charging the field to kick off the homecoming game singing the school song. You have also willingly taken every opportunity to learn as you search to discover your passion and purpose. I am confident that you will continue to grow and search beyond our walls. After all, to be human is to search. And today, the power to search is at our fingertips like never before in human history. Just consider for a moment all the tools at your disposal. The iPad will one day be the worst technology you have ever owned. To put that in perspective, parents, remember the Apple IIe? Imagine the tools in your future. And in a world where more information is created in a year than in the previous 5,000 years, in a world where Google is now a verb, the important question for you becomes, what are you searching for? Google releases its top searches annually. The top how-to Google search, how to tie a tie. That probably came in handy at homecoming, turnabout, and prom. Most Googled song, Harlem Shake. Most Googled artist, Miley Cyrus. The top what is search was closely related. What is working? The top search of the year was for Nelson Mandela, who the world lost in December. As you think about your own search through life, consider his remarkable quest. Nelson Mandela never wavered in his devotion to and his search for democracy, equality, and learning. He searched for and found his passion. He was true to himself, and his compassion and consistency provided hope that was a powerful catalyst for change. As key words determine your destination in Google, ultimately, your search determines your destination in life. Let Nelson Mandela's words inform your search. May your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. LinkedIn CEO Jeff Weiner asked a key question worthy of reflection. Looking back on your career 20 or 30 years from now, what do you want to say to your I would advise you to ask an even more important question. What do you want to accomplish for those people that matter most in your life? Chances are, what you are searching for will be informed by your search through these halls for the past four years. You are an incredibly talented bunch. Your search through GBS included hard work as you devoured science and mathematics, valued the humanities, performed in the arts, and excelled in athletics. Let me briefly give voice to some of your many accomplishments, which have put us on virtually every list of top high schools in the nation. You completed over 1,600 AP exams. 233 of you earned AP Scholar Distinction. Among your ranks are 187 Illinois State Scholar Scholars and a record 60 Glenbrook Scholars, with a record seven individuals on this stage achieving perfect 5.0 GPAs. Over 96% of you are college bound, some of you achieving despite tremendous personal adversity. In your class are 87 all-conference athletes. Boys gymnastics won the regional. Girls tennis won the sectional. And boys swimming took fifth in state. Glenbrook United won several team gold medals. And our 300 hurdler just earned third in the state yesterday. Boys baseball won their regionals yesterday and is still playing. 
girls for trucks when they're regional, sectional, super sectional, and are still fun to be one of the top four cities in the state. Over 90 Titans earned state and national distinction, with one being named to the all academic team in Illinois. Two seniors were named regional champions for the state's math competition and led the team to their 10th place. Our talented cheerleaders took third in state. Our business professionals of America, the team had two state champions and sent 11 to nationals. The FCCLA team competed in the state with 20 individuals and came away with 11 silver medals and 9 gold medals. And consider this year's National Model UN Conference in New York. 3,300 students were in attendance from around the world representing 125 schools. GBS's 14-member Model UN team earned a first place merit of distinction. Seven members of the team were selected to speak at the closing ceremony which was held at the United Nations headquarters. Our Titan Palms took 16th in the nation. Our newspaper, The Oracle, tied for first in the state. And our Etruscan yearbook, our talented students won another national gold crown award this year. And the Pacemaker Award, the Pulitzer Prize of the Yearbooks. Fourteen instrumental and vocal music students were selected as IMEA state musicians. They were the anchors in another exceptional year of performances within our Grammy Award winning music program. The GBS Environthon team placed second in state, and our talented television students continue to excel with eight top awards and five state champions. Our debate program continued to best their competition, earning second in state with the top two speakers in the state. And they will join our speech team by representing GBS at Nationals. Our innovative vehicle design team traveled to Michigan International Speedway and took first place in design innovation, first place in vehicle performance, first place in engineering and craftsmanship, and first place in the nation. Truly impressive. Your inclusive and caring nature has also had a wonderful and lasting impact on GPS. You search for and found small and profound ways to help one another, including how you took care of each other and honored the life a long-time science teacher and friend, horticulture teacher, Mr. Jeff Brown. His team honored their wonderful coach in the weeks following his match. And then went on to win their 23rd state championship. You have left your fingerprints. And as your principal, I am grateful and proud of you. You search for answers to today's most complex issues, earning Mr. Matt Whipple the Power of One Award from the Holocaust Museum for continuing the support of schools in Uganda and for raising awareness of genocide around the world. And you committed to local needs as you helped raise understanding about depression and our shared responsibility to help each other through Erica's Lighthouse. You found time and energy to collect 108,000 cans for the food pantry raised funds to support Washington, Illinois tornado victims, recycled 2.1 tons of computer equipment through Interact. The three of our seniors inspired us as they quietly came to the aid of a woman who had a serious fall. You built houses in Minnesota, painted homes in Glenview, tutored in our TLC and at Onward House in Chicago. As we celebrate this day, the individuals on this stage provide great hope for the future. Class of 2014, today, is a milestone in your life. As you define your trajectory from here, continue to search for and discover your purpose and your passion. May your choices continue to reflect your hopes and give that gift to others. Live your life honestly and passionately. And never forget that the hands of those who love you will always be here. And as you search, always remember you are tight. We will always remember you. Class of 2014, congratulations and thank you.
traditionally, at this part of this commencement, it is my responsibility to certify to the superintendent that these seniors on the stage have completed all the requirements set forth by the Board of Education of School District 225 and are eligible for a diploma as a graduate of Glenford South High School. Dr. Riggle, I do so certify. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Mike Riggle, the superintendent of District 225. Dr. Riggle is in his sixth year at the helm of District 225 and continues to be an asset to the Glenbergs. Dr. Riggle, it is my honor to present to you Glenbrook South High School graduating class of the year 2014 and to welcome you to Glenbrook South's graduation ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Wegman, and I know that by now you've heard just a ton of good advice from Chris, Jeffrey, Michelle, and Dr. Wegman. I wish to express my appreciation to Dr. Wegman and the entire GBS staff for providing the leadership and the many hours of dedicated service that's necessary to continue the tradition of excellence at Glenbrook High School South. Glenbrook South today that we're really enjoying the honor of the class of 2014. I can tell you that the year gets long, but that year becomes inspirational today as we step inside this auditorium. And it's because of the parents, the families, and the extended friends that are here today who want to thank you for supporting our staff and for providing the love compassion, caring, and commitment that is so essential to the graduates of the class of 2014. It is people who make a high school great, and it's through the efforts of many that we are able to establish and maintain an outstanding high school environment, an environment that allows young people to grow and develop, an environment that allows us to recognize and celebrate their accomplishments. It really is an honor to be part of the Glenbrook South graduation ceremony today. And one of the things I love is to walk in the back door and come down this aisle and cross the stage. I wish it was a little bit slower. You waited a long time, about 25 minutes for them to come in. But it seemed like I was running down the aisle and across the stage hoping not to trip. But it's the feeling, the atmosphere that you've provided here, the love, the caring, and everything that you bring to it is truly inspiration. I'm grateful for the opportunity to work with this outstanding staff and student body and in a community that values and supports education. Today, we are honoring a remarkable group of young people who are ready to leave Glenbrook South High School. They leave behind a legacy of achievement that is long remembered and reminded and admired. More importantly, they have provided great leadership and built by example a culture of caring, respect, dedication, and kindness within GBS that transcends to the classes that follow. The class of 2014 is truly outstanding in all aspects. Graduates, in receiving your diplomas today, you become part of a larger nation of Glenbrook South graduates. Today, tomorrow, and forever, you are Titans. Your experiences at Glenbrook South are now part of your spirit. They will never leave you. You join a larger community of Titans that can be found throughout the world in numerous professions and positions of leadership. They are known for their successes and contributions to society. Being a Titan is very special. High school is an important milestone, as Dr. Wegler mentioned, intended to serve as a foundation for further academic pursuits. The diploma they receive today does not ensure success or entitle them to further education. Success at this point will depend primarily on your commitment to your own development. 
Do not wait for someone to provide you with an education or present you with amazing opportunities. Many of the world's past and present leaders have consistently pointed to education as a source of power and a mechanism for leveraging change. Education is the single most powerful entity that can change the world and it has the potential to bring resounding impact to your life and the lives of others. Maximize your potential by actively pursuing an education and engaging deeply in every course you take and every opportunity you pursue. The dedication and work ethic that you demonstrate will serve to separate you from others and will help you forge an outstanding reputation for yourself, GBS, and other titans. While at GBS, you've learned the importance of service. With education and opportunity comes responsibility. It's the responsibility to improve the lives of others wherever and whenever possible. I strongly encourage you to dedicate yourself to the service of others. For your achievements and success will ultimately be measured by what you give back to others. Try to infuse this kind of spirit of GBS in the parts of the world that you touch, and the world will be a better place. Over the Memorial Day weekend, I had an opportunity to visit my hometown briefly, Bedford, Indiana. And it caused me to reflect on my own high school graduation many years ago. As Dr. Wagley mentioned in Apple TV, I remember the TRS-80 from Radio Islam. Dr. Dan Schaefer was the superintendent, and to be honest, I don't remember a single thing he said that day. I do remember the joy that existed that day, and I remember my family and my friends. And the overall sense of accomplishment that everyone felt. Placing it in perspective, I had an assistant principal who, right after I got married, we always had a holiday gift exchange. He tossed me my gift that year and he said, Oh, you know, remember when you opened it, you just got married, so it's not about you anymore. And so I thought about that when I opened it. And I was so graduates, I want to tell you today, today you are the focus, but it's not all about you. Keep that in mind, whenever we have these celebrations, this is a family celebration. So remember, hug your parents. Take the extra uh, time. So to the the Graduates, we share the joy of your uh, celebration, but we're also sad to see you there. Oh, but you went to sell. Take time today to pause, reflect, and give thanks to those who taught you, mentored yes, you, supported you, and loved you. You represent the very best our community has to offer, our brightest hope for a better tomorrow. When times are tough, remember you are a Titan. Good luck, class of 2014. May you be blessed in your journey to make the future bring you the very best that life has to offer. So here's the point I want you to make. Dr. Wegley, I am truly honored to accept the class of 2014 as candidates for graduation. It is with great enthusiasm and pride that I present them to Mr. Skip Shine, President of the Glenbrook High School District 225 Board of Education, for certification and the awarding of diplomas. The members of the class of 2014 are now officially graduates of Glenbrook South High School. graduates, parents, family, and friends, and faculty. On this magnificent spring day, we gather to share in this rite of passage, marking a seminal event 
for the lives of these outstanding young people and families. It is with great pride and a full heart that on behalf of the Board of Education, I accept the graduating class of 2014. Thank you. graduates' names have been read, and also please refrain from shout-outs and cat calls as this distracts the meeting the next day. Thank you in advance. Kelly L. Ibaka Beltran. Glenbrook Scholar Aljo Abraham. Justin Abraham. Teresa Zoe Abrahamson. Quinn Abrams. Rema Rosalie Abu Hashim. Shayla Adams Brown. Glenbrook Scholar Anya Agawa. Glenbrook Scholar Daniel J. Ahn. Julia Juan Albano. Sean Andrew Alexander. Gabriella Almendra Almeida. Michael Alonzo. Joseph Samuel Americus. Benedict Ahn. Maureen Grace Anderson. Pearl Angeli A. D. Engel. Madeline Shea Anthony. Marlon Cole Ansis. Daniela Aponte. Oscar Aragon Figueroa. Carla Yomira Arcos. Dianera Archer. Lambert Scholar, Alexandra Marie Arnold. Michelle Brandy Askin. Daniel Dean Susu. Anastasia Aliki Athos. Glenbrook Scholar, Christopher Townsend Colvin. <laughs> Jeffrey George Matthew. Uh, oh, they're coming up. Paula at Sinai. Right, I can't talk to you. Tommy Lang. Armando. I can't, Tommy Lang. Right, I can't talk to you. Jose J. Avira. Jacob Anthony Abu. Oh, he's not that long now. All right, here we go. Marilyn Ani Matsur. Michael Gregory Badalou. Glenbrook Scholar, Elizabeth Susan Bates. Danielle Jordan Baker. Peter C. Malavanos. Timothy David Barber. Tiago Mendez Barros. Christina Vasilio. Maya B. Besson. George William Bate. Zachary Lewis Bauer. Christopher Baylander. Emily Bazzi. Katie Marie Beecher. Julia Bendersky. Jamie Page Vanderwald. Kevin John Benson, Casey Howard Bird, Sydney Marissa Bird, Michael Simon Burns, Jesse Bernstein, Sarah Joy Bettigan, Glenbrook Scholar, AJ Anil Bajwani, Joshua S. Bialis. Gabriella Angel Bychek. Nicole Lexi Binder. Christian Conrad Bobrowski. 
Grant Renner Bochak, Nathaniel James Brand, Constantine Tiomer Berkovich, Amanda Marie Browder, Arthur Ward Buckingham IV, Justin Christopher Buhai Castro, Nicholas Robert Burke, Christopher W. Berg, Leopoldo Miguel Calderon, Glenbrook Scholar, Christopher Callahan, Peter Dunning Campbell, Daniela Canal Vargas, Alexandra Jane Canary, Kesa Faith Davida Carlson, J. Russell Carr Jr., Cody Moeller Carroll, Molly Patricia Elizabeth Carroll, William Brennan Cascarano, Sean Robert Casey, Glenbrook Scholar, Romano Charles Castelli, Daniela Castrojan, Jose Eduardo Castro, Ashley Taya Catazon, Glenbrook Scholar, David Chengara Sherrill, Julius Y. Chung, James Youngjun Cho, Paul Cho, Jun Ho Choi, Glenbrook Scholar, Sung Min Choi Hong, Glenbrook Scholar, Matthew Christopher Corvat, Jane Chung, Delia Chobotaro, David John Clatch, Julie Bagan Cloud, David Watson Cohen, Mackenzie Therese Conklin, Troy James Conlin, Stephen William Cook, Jessica Veronica Cordero, Keely Elizabeth Cosgriff, Francesca Rose Cavello, Glenbrook Scholar John Patrick Cowie, <laughs> Matthew Angelo Kubelik, Riley Taylor Dahia, Evangelos Paris Dallas, Glenbrook Scholar Marguerite Marie Dawes, Haley Elizabeth Davis, Jordan Sona Gabrielle Davis, Olivia Day, Samuel Lester de Cosmo, Susanna Elisa Delgadillo Gonzalez, Mario de Mertzis, Joanna Duzo, David Matthew Dillon, Michael Hamilton Dillon, Georgina Ann Dinelli, Charles John Dion D. Glenbrook Scholar, Kisa Mary Elizabeth Distasio, Michael Juran, Ryan James Dabrowski, Zachary I. Dubovsky, Michelle Dumay, Glenbrook Scholar, Craig Duncan, Omar Duran, Lauren Nicole Durning, Yvette Divis, Jessica Dorota Zichowska, Peter Zirkowitz, Roman Zaborovic, Katerina Ikonimu, Glenbrook Scholar Nicholas George Edelman, Alfred Carey Entenman, Nicola Charles Herber, William Riley Estes, Janaria Danielle Tamara Yunis, K. 
Katie Fakuri, Elizabeth Daly Finzer, Eleanor Margaret Fogarty, Ariella Fogel, Patrick Ryan Fogarty, Gabrielle Elise Foley, Allison Danielle Ford, Dana Bath Ford, Isabella Morgan Freyden, Taylor Nicole Futterer, Boyana Gallic, Arturo Garcia, Suzette Garcia, Miguel Garcia Sanchez, Shannon M. Garden, Joanna Lee Garvey, William Lincoln Gaspara, Michael Edward Gentili, Lindsay Ann George, Kevin William Garrick, Natalie Rosalie Gibson, Sonia Kasim Galani, Yasmin Marie Giuliano, Kyle Steve Galani, William Augustus Gingrich, Abraham Giron, Jacob Lauren Goldenberg, Jacqueline Kelly Golding, Andrews Bigniew Golaki, Sophia Gomez, Kyle R. Gomez, Glenbrook Scholar Joseph Michael Gordon, Samantha Lee Wolewski, Elizabeth Mario Dosplinto, Everdiki P. Guantanis, Georgia P. Guantanis, Celia Havens Grebel Solsky, Tara Esther Graff, Joseph Richard Keller Gross, Emily Chris Gorsky, George Tomislav Georgiev, Adrian Guerrero, Francisco Guerrero Santos, Marlon Fernando Guzman Marcelo, Roy Ha, Quinn Patrick Hagen, Alexander G. Halkis, Sean Michael Halloran, Veena Ramachandra Hamill, Glenbrook Scholar Beverly DePaul Hamilton, Glenbrook Scholar Cole Montgomery Hamilton, Anna Lee Hampton, G. Yong Han, Michael Dan Hanchez, Michael Haney, Stephen Richard Hanna, David James Harris, Rebecca Lynn Harrison, Hannah Mackenzie Hartigan, Susan Carolyn Hawks, Glenbrook Scholar Atticus Jan Hepson, Peter McAvoy Helis, Seamus Joseph Hennigan, Neil Patrick Hennigan, Glenbrook Scholar Casey James Henriksen, Jasmine Alondra Fernandez, Samuel Richard Burzon, Kelly Grace Heidi, Patrick James Hilton, Glenbrook Scholar Jennifer Sullivan Hincamp. Drake Anthony Lavin. Glenbrook Scholar Young Sue Hope. Brittany Elizabeth Holzman. Rebecca Rose Holt. Taylor Sarah Corbett. 
Joseph Paul Horwitz, Samantha A. 